It was the 22nd of January, 2022. My school was having an event and I happened to be sitting in the courtyard. You see, we were about to perform because, you know, obviously I was a band kid. And while we were waiting to perform, we were allowed to be in the courtyard and spend time with each other. And that's what we did. But you see, I found myself alone for most of that time. The skies were gray and it provided a good insight into what my thought process was at that moment. Even a week prior to that event, I was at home cooped up with a certain virus that I will not mention due to YouTube's guidelines. Thanks, Susan. And I thought to myself about what I saw these people doing with this break in time that they had. They were spending their time together as a family. And I know that for me, I'd spent a lot of my time as of late contemplating my life, contemplating the purpose of my life, and contemplating choices I had made. And how certain situations in my family had also affected me. Something that came to mind, and it was really important at that moment, something that came to mind was the fact that the constant of time is an insult to those who wasted it. Hey guys, it's been a minute, but we're back again with yet another video, and before I get into any of this, you know, how are you? You having a nice day? You having a nice time? If you are, how about you leave a comment? Actually, you don't really have to do that. I don't really care. But if you're having a nice day, you know, leave a like. Okay, you don't have to do that either, but you know, like and subscribe, blah, 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 whatever. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys are doing well. And today, I'm making a pretty quick video, but it's one that's really near and dear to my heart. As per the last clip you guys just saw, um, I came up with a quote that the content of time is an insult to those who waste it. And in preparation for this video, I was actually talking to um, my dad a couple weeks, about a week ago. Yeah, um, I was talking with my dad and he helped me refine my ideas a bit. It made me realize that time, as we know it, time is something that is constant something that is never fading and never ending you know like as you look at even pictures of yourself through your camera roll you realize that time is constant because if you look at your picture from yourself a year ago you might find that you're extremely different in appearance and physiology or whatever they call it i would know because i've done that and yeah i do look kind of somewhat very different from the way i did last year around this time and that's just the flow of time, really, because time is constant. It's never ending, you know? Time is a gift from God. Time to do things like this and to do other things in your life. Time to spend with family. Time to work on yourself. Time to improve, you know? And in doing this video, because honestly, I was supposed to record this video a couple days ago, but I procrastinated on making this video. I honestly don't know why, but I procrastinated a bit. But we're here today to talk about time. What I learned in that season, as I mentioned before, when things were different, when I had that time to be in this very room, cooped up by myself with the uh, virus, which name I cannot disclose due to YouTube. Once again, thank you, Susan. I really appreciate your stupid guidelines. I mean, really great guidelines. Are you sure about that? As I was reflecting on what I had in my life, you know, up to that point last year, I was really just thinking about how I would spend the time I would have after, like what I would do with my friends and my family and how I would approach my life after. And it just showed me that time is a very valuable resource because ultimately you're not getting any younger and you're not getting any less time, you know? Every day, and I hate to be morbid here, but every day of your life, you went closer to death. In fact, as the Bible itself says, I'll put up the verse for you. I mean, editor will put up the verse for you. Tomorrow is not promised. You know, you really don't know how much time you tear, how much time you have. You could go to sleep tonight and not wake up tomorrow. So the days that you have, they're blessings to you. And I don't mean to sound cliche, but you should live every day of your life as if it's your last. Because truly and honestly, you don't know. You know, there are many people who went to bed last night who are going to go to bed who won't wake up who didn't wake up in the case of those who went to bed last night you know but if you're watching this video you most likely did 
and chances of our view what well chances are that if you watch this video again after the first time you watch this you probably already went to bed and woke up a couple times you know and for me one of those biggest lessons i learned while i was in that moment of isolation was to not waste your time you know too often we see so many examples of this world just throwing at us useless distractions useless things of which we waste our time you know and especially if you're a christian you're called to redeem the time because the days are dark and i noticed that even through social media certain social medias especially <clears throat> tiktok like bro if you watch these videos and think they're funny you need help tiktok as a whole is a brain rotting platform for your own sake quit tiktok um cause you to spend more time just scrolling around and ultimately as you're not getting any younger and as you grow and grow into more responsibilities you have to realize that the time that you have is precious and it's valuable and now i'm not saying to completely dedicate your time to working but i'm saying to dedicate your time to things that are meaningful don't dedicate your time to things that are meaningless i'm not saying it's not okay to have like social media and stuff you know not to play a couple games every now and then but there are certain things in your life that should take precedent when it comes down to your timing because you don't wow you don't know how much time you have left as my father was talking to me he helped me to see things in a different light instead of the concept of time being an insult to those who wasted it it would be that time itself is a tragedy to those who misuse it because at the end of the day when you're old and you're on your deathbed and you know you're about to die you're not thinking about all those times you didn't show up for work or that one time you failed your math test you're thinking about the time that you had to spend with family and whether or not you use that time properly whether or not you use that time constructively the time you had to create meaningful bonds the times you had a fun and thinking about whether or not you wasted your time and look time is very important guys all right we shouldn't be wasting our time and there's a lot of things we can waste our time on but a lot of these things we waste our time on are meaningless you know i won't really go into details i mean because myself i myself am struggling to grow from these things but in jesus name i will grow from these things we need to understand that the time we spend every single day should be used to build ourselves up first of all let's build ourselves up spiritually especially if you are a christian build yourself up mentally emotionally physically the time we use should be spent to foster new relationships should be used to find ways to improve ourselves find ways to learn more the time we use every day the time we're blessed with should not be used to waste our time on meaningless things which are extremely vapid and do not contribute to your overall growth you know the time that you have should be used to grow and at the end of the day that is what time is here for you know i don't want any of you guys i don't want myself but i don't also more so want any of you guys to be older and thinking what if i did this when i was younger what if i did that when i was younger you know i want you guys to understand the value of time and understand that the time that we have is a blessing and it is very limited i don't want to see you guys have your time that you wasted become a tragedy later you know so if there's something you need to do you know whether it's becoming a christian you know repenting of your sins and turning to christ for salvation whether it's and i know this might sound weird maybe it's talking to that one girl you like you know obviously in a way that glorifies and honors god you know maybe it's t talking to your parents about certain things you know coming clean about certain issues you're facing you know telling even someone you love and care about that you know you love and care about them right go and do it you know if you're in need of a job go and pursue that if you no, you need to do something you know you have the time go and do that if you want to see change in your life and you have the time and you're doing nothing this summer go pursue that go take the time even now to go learn something to learn a new craft or, or something really take the time you have and do not take it for granted take the time that you have and use it to elevate yourself in whatever means possible however that may look like use that time you have use that blessing you have to inspire change in yourself and maybe to even inspire change in others guys all right i don't want 
any of you guys like i said to look back and realize that your time was wasted so with that that's the end of the video yeah this video was really really short can't lie but i hope it was sweet enough to reach you guys and i really am looking forward to what the future holds and with that uh i guess just like and subscribe whatever uh like i said trying to reach 100 subscribers by the end of september and if you do that my editor will be able to use its actual and real voice so yeah once again thank you for all your support i love you all so much and i pray that god will bless each and every single one of you and that we would be able to grow together thank you all may god bless you peace